hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so in my previous video i have shown you how you can create a new widget area or sidebar uh, and now in this video i am going to show you how we can create a new custom post type so a uh, reason behind creating a new custom post type because in the next video we will going to learn how we can create a new widget and in that widget we will be using the custom post type we will create in this video so let's jump in for custom post type so let me open my local site and i will go into the backend first let me show you what is the post type So post type is the type of data uh, WordPress stores in the database or table and uh, WordPress has by default three post types. So one is the post, another one is the media, media is also a post type and pages, pages is also a post type. So by default WordPress has these three post types so why we need post types so to differentiate a different type of data we will need post type also if we create a post type then we will uh, do some stuff without interfering uh, other post types so that is why we create a post type so that we can easily differentiate our data on the wordpress so wordpress uh, has a very uh, easy process to create a new post type and we will be learning in a few minutes uh, how we can create our new own post type so let's jump into that and let me open my blog site because i have already written a small blog related to creating a custom post type so i will go into that blog and we will see how easy to create custom post type so let me search custom post type and this is the blog guys i will provide all the links which i am going to show in this video in the description section so uh, creating a co post type is only two steps process so first is open custom plugins any php file so uh, generally custom post type related to plugins uh, in rare case if you are uh, building theme and you want to have a post type related to theme then you can add your code into your theme otherwise mostly uh, it goes to the uh, plugins uh, file so let's go to our custom plugin so if you haven't seen how we can create our custom plugin then i have already created a video regarding that and the link is coming at the top right corner of the video in the i button so if you don't know how to create plugin then please check out that video first otherwise it's okay you can continue watching this video so uh, we have created this plugin my custom plugin and i will go to that plugin and i am not going to add the code into the main file so we will include some file uh, to differentiate a different different type of code so in this case i will add a file to add our new custom post type
so this function gives the current uh, plugins current plugins path and I am going to include this file into this includes folder so let me create a folder first and I will add this file into that folder custom post type dot php so I am adding a new file first let me confirm our file is included or not So our custom plugin is activated and yes file is included successfully. So this is how you can include files in your plugin. Now I am going to add the code which is the second step. So I have already given a snippet. I I took this snippet from this WordPress page. I will provide this link as well. So I will click on this view raw and I will copy this whole bunch of code. And we will I will explain how this code works, but first let me copy and paste it to this file. Now I am going to refresh this and we will see there will be a new post type over here. So this is our new post type books. So I have already added a post here before. Let me delete this. So make sure whenever you create a new post type, just go to the permalinks and resave the permalinks so that uh, that permalink will uh, will start applicable for this custom post type as well. Otherwise, you might end up with 404 page. Now let's look into the code so we have added this code into init action which is necessary uh, we can't add this uh, code in those action which calls before init after init or init will work otherwise it will not work so uh, this is the function responsible for adding a new custom post type so register post type accepts two parameters one is the slug of the post type and another one is number of arguments different different type of arguments so first is labels sorry so labels are uh, used when different different type of actions we perform for the post type section for example if we add new then it it adds the add new uh, text for adding new post button then if we have search items then it will show search books something like this this is pretty straightforward if you see this uh, you will know what uh, label goes where 
So, and it is optional. If you don't use labels, that's okay. WordPress will going to take the default one. Now, uh, another argument is public. So, this is false. So, what is public? So, if you want to use post type uh, to be to have an access to front end or not, if you make public uh, false, it will not available into the front end. So, for in this case, I am going to make it public. And these are uh, different different uh, arguments. If you want to look into all each and every arguments, uh, then I would suggest that uh, please refer this page. So here all the arguments are uh, explained very uh, deeply. Shown in menu. So if you want to show this uh, post type in menu or not. So here it is displaying in a menu. Then query var, which is which will be used in uh, post uh, querying the WordPress when we write a query for post type. In that you will use this um, post type rewrite. So for so this is for rewrite. Uh, means permalink. So if you want to enable permalinks for this um, post type and what slug should be there for this post type. So you can pass this slug according to your need. And these are different type of um, arguments you can have in this page. I would suggest uh, just go through all these arguments and add the labels according to your need. So these are the basic uh, arguments to add a new custom post type. So you can if you add this you will be fine for your new custom post type. Now this is the main supports. So supports has a uh, different uh, values. So in this uh, uh, array, I have added title, editor, author, thumbnail, accept, and comment. So what this post type supports? The, so title, editor, author, thumbnail, accept, and comments. So if you go into your post type, and if you add over here a new post type, you will see this uh, sections title, editor, then excerpt, thumbnail, comments as well. So, yeah, comments. So, let's try to remove the thumbnail and we will see what happens. So this should remove as you can see now thumbnails are not available. Uh, let's try to remove except so except will not be there. So this is how you can add remove some content. Oops, sorry. some content for a uh, custom post type. I'll be putting all of this again. So what argument support accepts? Let's check over here. So these are the number of arguments uh, provided by WordPress. And now this is the final function in which first you need to pass a slug and another you will pass this number of arguments. Now let me try to add a new 
post in new post type Let's visit on the front end. So as you can see, we have our new custom post type on the front end. Now there is uh, there is an argument. Uh, okay, has archive. So this is. If you want an archive page for your post type, then you can put this as a has archive true. So when you put this has okay, I have already there has archive true, then you will have your archive page for your new custom post type, which will be the your site slash custom post types uh, slug so in that case you will have your archive page for your custom post type so these are the list of post types there is only one right now let me quickly add another one and we will refresh this page again so as you can see we have all list of uh, custom post types on archive page now let me make it false so in that case archive page will not be there okay let me save the permalink so now it redirects me to single page see so when you make this as archive false so there will be no archive page and it will redirect you to the uh, related uh, custom posts page or maybe uh, it will redirect to you to uh, 404 page as well so this is how you can add your new custom post type if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section i hope you learn something from this video and thanks for watching See you in the next video.